Hey everyone, you know the surface of our planet has been crafted by powerful geological processes ever since it first formed billions of years ago. The Earth's landscape today is covered with many unique and strange structures. So today, we're going to be taking a look at 15 of the most strange geological oddities and rock formations. Let's begin. Number 15. Fairy Chimneys, Turkey the region of Cappadocia in Turkey is known for its bizarre landscape that formed over millions of years from heightened volcanic activity, but one of the strangest type of structures that are dotted throughout the area are the so-called fairy chimneys. They are the direct result of the many volcanoes that once spewed huge amounts of dust and molten rock onto the landscape, and the layer upon layer of different materials that were deposited left the ground stronger in some places and weaker in others. It was then the forces of the weather that carved away at the softer rock and left these basalt columns standing strong. This all happened millennia before the first humans walked the earth, but the chimneys would go through another radical transformation when the original communities of humans made the place their home. They soon learned that the basalt could easily be carved and then began to use the fairy chimneys as the foundations for new structures, carving houses, churches, and statues into the volcanic remnants designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site to both because of the geological and cultural interest, the fairy chimneys are now a fascinating blend of natural and human influences, where you're able to see unaffected chimneys as they've been since they were first formed, alongside those that provided shelter and refuge for the earliest peoples. Number 14. The Wave, Arizona Arizona is famous around the world for its stunning landscape, most notably because of the Grand Canyon. But that's just the largest of the vast network of canyons and geological structures in the state. Towards the north and close to the border with Utah is the Pariah Canyon Vermilion Cliffs Wilderness Park. And here, you'll find an incredible formation that's called the Wave. Layers of rock mainly made up of sandstone have built up here over hundreds of millions of years, and it's then been gradually eroded away by small rivers and powerful winds that funnel through. The result is a valley that has exposed rock that was laid as far back as the Jurassic period, and the largest trough measures around 62 feet wide and 118 feet long. What's amazing, though, is that during the time the stone was initially deposited, the area was covered with sand dunes, and the prevailing winds repeatedly changed directions. This meant that the material was churned up and laid in alternating directions, so now that it's been uncovered again, there are noticeable swirls, layers, and patterns within the color of the rock. The wavy appearance of this structure is so popular with tourists and photographers that to protect it from damage from too many visitors, authorities have organized a lottery system that grants access to no more than 64 people per day. Number 13. Chocolate Hills, Philippines The Philippines is home to a number of unusual geological formations, but perhaps the most unusual and impressive are the so-called Chocolate Hills. They're spread out across a 50-square-mile area of the Bohol province, and there's somewhere between 1,260 and 1,776 of them. Despite their appearance, they're actually limestone mounds that have been covered in grass. Most of them range in height between 98 and 164 feet, but a couple of them are much bigger, with the largest of them being 390 feet tall. They were originally created tens of millions of years ago, and similar formations can be seen elsewhere in the world, but this is the only place where so many of them can be seen at once. During the wet season, the grass grows rampant and they take on a lush green color, but when it's hotter, the grass dies out and turns brown, which gives the illusion that the hills are made of chocolate, hence the name. As with many formations like these, local cultures have developed their own explanations for how they were created in the first place. The most prevalent legend is that they were the result of a huge battle between two giants who threw large boulders at each other. Eventually, after growing exhausted, they both became friends, but when they left, they forgot to clean up the mess after themselves. Number 12. Moraki Boulders, New Zealand New Zealand is famous for its glorious landscapes, but rather than venturing into the mountain ranges or exploring the lakes for the strangest formations of all, you instead need to go to Kohekoi Beach on the South Island. Here, there's a series of large round rocks in the sand that look like they've been purposefully carved and placed there. Known as the Meraki Boulders, they range in size from about 1.5 feet in diameter to a massive 7.5 feet across, with the majority of them being almost perfectly spherical. They were formed by concentrations of various minerals that collect together beneath layers of mud on the seabed, and they were then removed by the erosion of the sea and deposited on the beach. 
It's a process that takes as long as five and a half million years to happen, and it's something that requires very specific conditions to take place. There are several other beaches nearby where similar stones can be found, some of which even contain fossils of ancient animals inside them. And because of their unusual appearance, they become a popular tourist site in their own right. There were, however, far more boulders when first drawings and descriptions were made of them around 170 years ago, with many having subsequently been washed back out into the ocean, leading some to speculate that the seabed in the surrounding area could well be full of hundreds of thousands of them that could one day make landfall once more. Number 11. The Jeta Grotto, Lebanon Vast cave formations have been discovered around the world, and because they form in different types of rock, each one has its own unique features. One of the weirdest that's so far been discovered is the Jeta Grotto, which is in the Nar al Kalb Valley near Beirut in Lebanon. It's actually made up of two separate but connected limestone caves that are around 5.6 miles in total length and have formed over a period of millions of years, exposing, as a result, rock that was formed at least as far back as the Jurassic era. As the longest known cave in the Middle East, the cavities were carved by the flow of a subterranean river as it makes its route out into the valley, and as a result, the entire system is only accessible by boat. Inside, there's a series of galleries that have a huge number of stalactites and stalagmites, including one that houses the largest known stalactites in the world that's 27 feet tall. Also home to several species of fish and insects that have evolved here and aren't found anywhere else, the Jetta Grotto is also an extremely important archaeological site, with a number of inscriptions and carvings that were made by previously unknown communities in prehistoric times, and who likely saw the caves as a safe refuge from the dangers outside. Number 10. The Xilin Stone Forest In the Yunnan province of China, around 56 miles from the city of Kunming, there's a rock formation that's one of only a few of its kind in the world. Known as the Xilin Stone Forest, it's a 150-square-mile region that's covered in limestone pillars that are such unusual shapes that it looks like a petrified forest. But these monuments were never trees, and are the result of a rare geological process that has eroded away the sediment left by a lake that was present there hundreds of millions of years ago. The formations themselves are believed to be at least 270 million years old, and are so unusual that they've become a popular tourist attraction in their own right. They're almost looking like stalagmites. There's a perfect view and photo opportunity in virtually any direction that you look. The region's been classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but has played an important role for nearby communities for far longer. According to local beliefs, the stone forest was where Ashima, a member of the Yi people, was born. She fell in love with a suitor, but was forbidden from marrying him. In her misery, she turned into a pillar of stone, and the others who came to visit her also suffered from the same fate. Today, the Torch Festival is held every year in honor of her, where people come from across the entire region to celebrate and watch traditional dances and wrestling competitions. Number 9. Bungle Bungle Range, Australia Set within the Purnululu National Park in Western Australia, the Bungle Bungle Range is far from being your average series of mountains. Also known as the beehives because of their unbelievable appearance, they're towers that make up the range that were formed from sandstones and conglomerates that were originally deposited there 350 million years ago, and have since been eroded by the wind and rainfall that passes over the nearby Tanami Desert. Covering an area of 174 square miles, the colors of the various layers make it truly spectacular, and it's also where you can see a 4.3-mile diameter circular depression, which is believed to be the impact crater from one of the earliest meteors to strike the Earth that's ever been discovered. Despite its clear attraction for photographers and tourists, the range was surprisingly hardly known about to anyone other than local Aboriginal people and cattle farmers because it's in such a remote region of Australia, and it was only in 1982 after a documentary was filmed there that it gained international attention, something that resulted in it being designated a protected national park in 1987 and a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2003. Number 8. The Devil's Tower, Wyoming Between 225 and 195 million years ago, northeastern Wyoming was covered in a shallow sea and most of the unusual geological features in that region date back to that time. The one that stands out the most, of course, is called the Devil's Tower, which is a 1,267-foot-tall igneous rock formation that rises above the Belforge River. It's believed to be the remnants of a huge volcano that once stood there, something that's supported by the discovery of volcanic material elsewhere in the state that has the same chemical composition as the tower. 
Due to the relatively flat surrounding terrain, you can see it from miles away, and it was actually the first official national monument of the United States, having been designated as such in 1906 by President Roosevelt. For a long time, it's been a central feature of the Native American culture where they tell various stories that explain its origin, and in the late 19th century it was a base for fur trappers, as it was an easily identifiable waypoint in the area. If you think you recognize it but have never been to Wyoming, it's probably because the structure is so picturesque that it's been used as the setting for several blockbuster movies, most notably Close Encounters of the Third Kind in 1977, where it was used as the location for the final sequences of the film. As a result, visitor numbers increased dramatically, and still to this day more than 400,000 people make the trip every year. Number 7. The Cliffs of Moher, Ireland Stretching for around 9 miles of coastline in the Burren region of County Clare in Ireland, the Cliffs of Moher are some of the most stunning coastal formations in the world. They were originally created more than 300 million years ago, and then continually eroded by the ocean ever since. They reach a maximum height of 702 feet near the midpoint. The cliffs offer a unique combination of modern and historical interest, and currently they're homes to more than 30,000 pairs of birds from 20 different species, including Atlantic puffins and razorbills, as well as a colony of gray seals, dolphins, basking sharks, and sunfish in the water below. They are also a remarkable view into the past, though, as they were formed so long ago. Where the ocean has carved the rock, river channels that were created 300 million years ago can be seen. And because the region used to be covered in soft, clay-like material, a large number of animals were trapped and entombed, and can be found now as fossils. Worm trails indicate the presence of species that haven't yet been discovered, and burrow marks have also shown the presence of marine animals that we don't yet know about. Number 6. Nica Crystal Caves, Mexico Other than by exploring natural formations with roots to the surface, it's virtually impossible for us to know for sure what the subterranean world is truly like. If the Nica mine in Mexico is anything to go by, however, then there's a vast and mysterious environment that we're only beginning to understand. Workers at the largest silver mine in the world were searching for new deposits in 2000 when they made a startling discovery. They drained a cavity of water, and inside they found a series of selenite crystals that were up to 39 feet long, and estimated to weigh as much as 55 tons. They are the largest naturally formed crystals to have ever been seen, and are thought to have developed over a half a million years when the cave was full of water that had been heated by a magma from below. Conditions in the cave weren't exactly safe for humans, however, and one worker who tried to steal a crystal died in the process. The decision was made to allow the cave to refill with water so the crystals could continue to form, so they're no longer accessible. But it's likely that caverns like this are present all over the globe. Number 5. Yelu Geopark, Taiwan Just outside of Taipei, on a peninsula of the northwestern coast of Taiwan, is a peculiar stretch of coastline that's host to a number of particularly strange features you'd hardly expect to have been naturally formed. The place is known as the Yelu Geopark, and it's been formed by coastal erosion over millions of years because of the type of sedimentary rocks that it's made up of. They are, bizarrely, structures that look like giant sandals, ice cream cones, and human faces, some of which contain the entombed remains of ancient creatures that were caught in the deposits as they were hardening. Possibly the most famous formation in the park, though, are the mushroom-like pedestal rocks, which are commonly known as hoodoo rocks. Structures that look like them can be found all around the world, and usually occur because rock of different strengths was eroded at different rates. The ones at the Yilu Geopark, however, are unique in that they're some of the only ones found in a coastal region, and it's also been proved that they are entirely made up of the same type of rock, so geologists aren't entirely certain why they've eroded at different rates to create that mushroom-like shape. Number 4. Trolltunga, Norway Trolltunga, which literally means the troll's tongue, is a rock formation in the Ullesvang municipality of Norway. It sticks out from the mountain as part of and hangs 2,300 feet above the Ringdasvaltnet lake. It was formed by a glacial process around 10,000 years ago when the entire region was covered in ice that froze in all the crevices of the mountain rock. As the ice expanded, it broke off large, sharp-edged blocks, and which were carried away and left a series of unreal formations like Trolltunga behind. Originally, there was a waterfall next to the outcrop, but the water has since been diverted for power production at a local hydroelectric plant, and it's now one of the most serene and surreal sites in the region. 
it had long been a little-known secret, with fewer than 800 people trekking the eight-and-a-half-mile route to reach the structure from the nearest village. But in recent years, thanks to the increase in the number of people looking for that perfect Instagram shot, the number of visitors making the journey has increased a hundredfold. And with 80,000 annual visitors, it's become one of the most popular hikes in the whole country. Number 3. Jeju Island Lava Tubes off the coast of Korea, about 80 miles from the mainland, there's a volcanic island called Jeju, which has some of the most impressive geological features in the world. The island is home to the Korean peninsula's largest mountain, called Halasan, which last erupted around 5,000 years ago and is currently dormant. And it's also surrounded by a further 360 satellite volcanoes. The scars of this activity can still be seen across the island, and one of the most popular sites for tourists and most impressive structures are the lava tubes. These are the natural roots that molten rock used to flow through the landscape, and the rock at the periphery solidified to create hollow tunnels. Now empty and safe to walk through, they are some of the largest examples of these anywhere in the world, and draw countless visitors each year who want the opportunity to walk through themselves. Because there are so many, this has also become a vital place for researchers to more fully understand the processes that happen around volcanic activity that potentially even help to predict when future eruptions may take place. Number 2. Mount Roraima Mountains, they've often become a focal point of civilizations throughout history, whether it be because of the belief that they are the homes of the gods or simply because they're visible parts of the surrounding landscape. But there's one that's on the border between Brazil, Guiana, and Venezuela in South America that continues to be somewhat of a mystery. Known as Mount Roraima, it's the tallest in the Pacaraima mountain range, and it's a tepui, or tabletop mountain. Reaching a maximum elevation of 9,200 feet, what's unusual about the mountain is that it's surrounded on all sides by near-vertical cliffs that are at least 1,300 feet high, and at the top is a summit area of more than 12 square miles. Mount Roraima has become known as the Lost World because of how separated it is, and it's home to several plant and animal species that aren't found anywhere else. There are, however, a couple of routes that can be used to reach the summit, and it's become quite a popular tourist activity. This has proved controversial, though, because Mount Roraima has long formed a central part of local beliefs. For the Paimon and Kapon people who have lived in the region for thousands of years, Mount Roraima is part of the creation legend. It's believed to be the stump of a once almighty tree that grew every fruit and vegetable on the planet, but was felled by Makunaima, a trickster god, and caused an almighty flood that spread the produce and seeds around the world. Number 1. The Reshot Structure, Mauritania From ground level, it's hard to truly have a grasp of the shape of the landscape around us, and it's only when we're able to see imagery from above that we realize our true size in the world. There's a place where this really becomes clear in Africa, where people have visited for many thousands of years, but it's only with recent technology that we've been able to appreciate the true beauty and mystery surrounding it. It's known as the Rishat structure, and it's on the Ardar Plateau of the Sahara Desert in the northwest African country of Mauritania. Circular in shape, it's a geological dome that measures 25 miles across, and it's been eroded in a way that exposes various different layers of sedimentary rock in concentric rings. The main theory surrounding its creation is that it's the equivalent to a blister on the Earth's surface where a mound of igneous material breached through the crust below and collapsed back down again. This has resulted in countless and interesting, unusual rocks scattered across the entire structure, but that's not the only interest of this site. Amazingly, it's also a brilliant place to look for artifacts from the Stone Age, which proves that humans have been interested by the site for thousands of years. What's even stranger about this is that the original visitors wouldn't have had any clue how it looks from above, and from the ground, the differences in the gradient are barely enough to realize you're even in a defined structure like this. Still, it was the rocks that drew the people there, and in many ways it's what draw people there today meaning this is truly a rare place in the world that connects the interests and curiosities of our earliest ancestors with those of ours today. I'll see you next time. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.